Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen, this is David Benjamin from HealthyWildAndFree.com. Today I want to talk about how to breathe properly for health, vitality, uh, wellness, and just energy, to have a good, sustainable amount of consistent energy. So, if we look at the big picture of health, when we look at the big picture of vitality, oxygen and water, oxygen and hydration are the top two essential nutrients for life, vitality, and well-being. And if we don't have high levels of high quality oxygen and high levels of high quality water hydration, our health and our body and our mind and spirit suffer because that begins to suppress our ability of our organs and systems and, and glands and all these things within our body to function properly and optimally in their highest way. So before we talk about how to breathe properly, I want to talk about uh, wh what breathing properly looks like and why there's a, there's a method to the madness. So we live in a society that's very fast paced. We live in a society that's very, uh, you know, instantaneous. Uh, we are very subconscious, or I would say a better way to describe it would be unconscious. We're very unconscious to the way that we breathe, the way that we eat, the way that we think and feel even. We're very out of tune with our emotions, uh, our energy, and our life and our, and our well-being in a, in, in a whole, in general. So we need to take a step back and look at each area of our life more consciously and have more intention around those areas of our life so that we can be consciously directing our energy, our health, and our progression into the life that we desire or into the direction of the life that we desire. So each little tip I share with you, whether it has to do with the mind, body, or spirit, you know, in regards to this whole healthy, wild, and free experience, has to do with upgrading your human potential. It has to do with improving your state of being so that you're in a higher state of well-being so you can perform and get things done and move the, your life in the direction that you choose. With that being said, breathing is a huge part of life because that oxygen is the life force energy and oxygen is truly what gives us the mental, physical clarity and energy to move forward and get things done. So, like I said, we breathe very unconsciously, and the first step to breathing consciously is breathing through your nose. So as a society, if you watch people, if you just people watch, uh, it's very common to see people panting instead of breathing. And what I mean by that is panting is breathing through the mouth and breathing through the chest. It's very shallow. The breath is from here to here, right? It's right here in this region. Whereas proper healthy breathing is breathing through the nose and into the stomach. The stomach should expand. So the stomach should come out as you breathe through the nose. And it should be slow and intentional. Your breathing should be slow and intentional through the nose and through the stomach. And there are reasons for this. So the reason, there's several reasons why your health, vitality, and energy levels, and just mental clarity, uh, will be enhanced by simply breathing through your nose and into your stomach. And I'm going to get to that in a minute. But first, I want to talk about, once again, society and how we breathe. We breathe very unconsciously through the mouth. And the problem with that is we breathe, when we breathe through the mouth, all of these things that the nose is meant to filter and uh, modify for our health and, and human experience, our, our mouth handles, and we don't get the benefit of our nose handling those things properly. It's like if you were to take your, uh, you know, your mouth, and, or excuse me, it's like if you were to take your nose and you were to start putting food up your nose, right? Like, oh yeah, I'm just going to eat through my nose today. Like, no, you eat through your mouth because you have teeth, you have digestive enzymes in your mouth. You have all these different things that cause your mouth to be the place where you eat. The reason our nose is there is to breathe. So there's a few reasons for this. So let's dig into those reasons. First things first, nose breathing actually filters the air that you breathe. So the, the hair follicles in your nose actually filter the air that you breathe. Not only that, it humidifies the air so that it's more, I guess you would say, absorbable or the, your body's ability to breathe properly and deeply is enhanced through nose breathing. So the air is filtered, so the quality of the air is increased, so it filters off fluids, contaminants, things like that. that. And that's why the mucus comes into play, uh, because, you know, some of it, it's you, your body's filter, using that as a filter to keep things out of your body, and that mucus, you know, you blow it out or you get it out of your nose, 
So it's sort of a barrier, but the hair follicles as well catch, it's sort of like a net system that catches pollutants, contaminants, things like that. But it also humidifies the air so that your body can utilize it quickly and efficiently. Nose breathing also stimulates NO, which is known as nitric oxide. I actually interviewed one of the top uh, foremost researchers on nitric oxide, NO, in the entire world on the Healthy Wildly Free podcast. This was probably boy, three years ago now. Uh, but this information is very valuable because nitric oxide is a molecule that enhances circulation, enhances blood flow. So uh, your blood oxygen levels benefit, so you get more oxygen in your blood, which that runs throughout your entire body, which that gives you energy. And it also just boosts circulation in general, and it's also antibacterial. So it's going to kill bacteria, enhance blood oxygen, give your body energy, and just keep your body healthy in general. And I'll tell you what, uh, I will actually link up the interview uh, with his name's uh, Dr. Nathan Bryan. I will link that interview up below this video so you can listen to the whole video on nitric oxide and learn more about the foods uh, that boost nitric oxide as well for health and well-being. Uh, so nose breathing also uh, goes through your olfactory nerve. Uh, and the benefit to that is when you breathe through your nose, you're breathing, you're, the oxygen is going through your olfactory nerve. Your olfactory nerve uh, connects and communicates with your brain directly. So if there are pollutants in the environment, if there are flowers to be smelled, oh, whoa. If, there are, is, if there is anything that your body can uh, centrally engage with through your olfactory nerve, through your sense of smell, by simply breathing, your body benefits from that information. So if there are healthy things to smell, like flowers or plants or something, your body's gonna take in the oxygen and sort of gravitate to that. If there are pollutants or contaminants, you're gonna smell that uh, and avoid that or just kind of walk around it. Uh, for example, you know, I ride a motorcycle and when I'm on the highway or I'm on the road and I see one of those trucks and they put out like that cloud of black smoke, I consciously get in another lane or avoid that because I don't want to breathe that in. Your nose is your eyesight for your breathing, right? Your nose has the ability to sense and direct where you breathe. So sometimes just moving a few steps or, you know, uh, walking on a different path, your nose directs you in that way. So that's something that's, that's valuable um, to, to understand and just utilize to your advantage to, to better interact with your environment and be more consciously aware of the environment that you're in because you're using the proper tool, your nose, to utilize the oxygen and to understand your environment around you more, uh, more pre and be more present in that. Uh, so the last benefit of breathing through your nose is your heart rate lowers and your nervous system uh, is more calm. It calms the nervous system. So your, your nervous system, it's very valuable for your heart rate to be calm and it's very valuable for your nervous system to be calm as well because when your heart rate is calm and your nervous system is calm, your body is not in a, a, a state of fight or flight, right? You're not in your sympathetic nervous system. You're more in your parasympathetic nervous system. And your parasympathetic nervous system is much more calm, much more relaxing. Uh, stress doesn't get to you as easily when you're in your parasympathetic nervous system. It's kind of like that person, you know, that, that uncle that you have that's just, you could tell him anything that's stressful or crazy. And he's like, oh, okay, yeah. And he just kind of listens to you and you're like, eh, okay, nothing phases him. Like, it's that type of uh, energy. It's that type of uh, system. That's what your parasympathetic nervous system uh, is. It's very relaxed. So to keep your heart and your nervous system calm, simply breathe through your nose. So let's recap real quick. Your nose breathing instead of mouth breathing, breathing deeply through the nose, into your stomach, into your diaphragm, uh, lower, gives your body more high quality purified oxygen because it's purified through your nasal pathway. Uh, the air is humidified, which gives it your body the ability to use it more easily and readily. Nose breathing also stimulates NO, which is known as nitric oxide, which is a molecule. Uh, by the way, the foods they're found in is dark chocolate, beets, uh, leafy greens. Those are the top three that I'm aware of currently. Uh, but nitric oxide boosts your circulation, your blood flow, uh, your blood oxygen level, so it gives more oxygen to your blood, which is in your entire body. Uh, nitric uh, oxide is also antibacterial, so it's going to help to keep bacterial infections at bay. Uh, nose breathing goes through the olfactory nerve, which uh, basically educates and communicates and connects with your brain so that your body and your breathing and your brain and your environment are more consciously connected in, in a co-creative fashion 
able to serve you and your health and to better direct you and your environment. And really, I believe, ultimately enhancing intuition. That's my theory, that's my hypothesis. It's not necessarily directly correlated through science, but I'm gonna leap out on a limb here and say that. Uh, and nose breathing also helps calm your nervous system and your heart to keep your body, your brain, and your mind balanced and to be more calculated in your brain and in your body and just to be, uh, to conserve your energy. So it really helps to conserve your energy. People that breathe through their mouth, <sighs> that sort of like panting breathing, it's, a, it's an exhaustive waste of energy. So if you want to conserve your energy better, breathe through your nose, breathe deeply into your stomach, get that oxygen, nitric oxide, purified air, humidified air into your body and into your nervous system and into your heart and into your blood and watch your health and your body and your life benefit from nose breathing. So that's how you pro properly breathe. Simply through your nose. And the slower you breathe out through your nose, the slower you breathe in and out through your nose, the longer and deeper those breaths in and out of your nose, the more calm your nervous system and heart will be. So that's how you begin to train your heart and your nervous system to be calm, relaxed, and in a more parasympathetic and nervous state. So anyways, that's it for this video. My name is David Benjamin from HealthyWildAndFree.com. Thank you so much for your time, energy, dedication to your health, wellness, vitality, and well-being. Please like, favorite, comment, and share this video below. I'm going to put the link to the nitric oxide interview below if you want to learn more and kind of dig into the nitty-gritty and science behind nitric oxide so you can learn more about that. Also, subscribe to my Facebook newsletter below. If you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed my videos, I will be sharing a webinar in the coming month or two uh, on probably like an hour-long event, free, online, uh, talking about different tools, techniques, technologies, and uh, coaching practices that you can engage and utilize in your life to increase your levels of physical, emotional, and creative energy. I'm talking the energy you need, the drive that you need to give you the tools and the, the capacity that you need to build the life of your dreams. So subscribe to that Facebook newsletter below uh, to get on the webinar to learn the physical, emotional, and creative energy practices that I engage in in my life uh, every single day, and if not every single day, at least a few times a week to keep my energy, my physical, emotional, and creative energy high and to continue to elevate those levels uh, to improve and optimize my life, my energy, my career, my dreams, you know, my dreams in Costa Rica, my dreams in my business, my dreams in everything. So check that out below, subscribe to that, and uh, subscribe here if you aren't already subscribed. Hit the bell below as well to get updates for future videos. So that's it for this video. My name is David Benjamin from Healthy, Wild, and Free. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Looking forward to hearing your thoughts and feedback, and I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to live healthy, wild, and free.